in England. So just the one change at half time. New Zealand are unchanged as we. New Zealand's goal that time, something they may perhaps want to address at the break. This was a rather ambitious effort from Charles Pickle. Ilya Mishak getting in the action on this left-hand side. Kalulu looks a vigorous and attack-minded left back. Mishak's effort was blocked. Esapreet Singh, this little ball here for Eli just that was a really eye-catching piece of football from Sapreet Singh just had the Sox attacking now the goal to our right New Zealand in all black kicking from right to left in this second half an early chance for Congo and they are going to score early in the second period just 23 seconds gone in the second half, and Cedric Bakambu with his 16th goal for his country. It was a long and hopeful ball in many respects, but Cedric Bakambu nipped in and poked it beyond. Goalkeeper Sanev nipped around the other side and then completed the job. Here is the long ball from Montesami. New Zealand didn't deal with it, but Kambu, the master goal poacher. It was a rather hopeful ball, but as Kakachi headed it back towards his own goalkeeper, Sanev didn't come. So a mix-up in defence for New Zealand. And Cedric Bakambu has made them pay. The Democratic Republic of Congo strike very early in the second half. Just the start they would have wanted after the break. And Cedric Bakambu, who's used to playing in Spain, had a long time, a profitable time with Villarreal, New Zealand, and they just about scramble it away. All hands on deck at the moment. Here is Bongonda. He drives deep and wins a corner off Beinecke. Delivery is good, but dealt with by New Zealand. Chris Wood, the captain and his country's leading goal scorer, could be the most obvious. It didn't quite. A different kind of creativity. Matt Garbutt is there. 
So it's played through and the flag is up. But Kambu didn't agree necessarily with the one thing you won't get from New Zealand is panic. These young players are very secure in their own ability. And Chris Wood has tucked it in, but I think that's gone behind. It looked at first look as though it had gone behind from Eli just as he tried to pull it back. And that is indeed the adjudication here. Just, just not quite able to keep that one in. Clearly it's gone behind. Now, Staminich. Sing again. Nice little touch. And a return pass. Upreach Singh, lovely. Can he apply the finish, Upreach Singh? Will he line up? He shot from McCowan. From Ben Wayne there. Referee said it was OK. And here come the Leopards again. It is Bongonda bearing down on goal. Theo Bongonda getting back. Michael Boxall using all the experience. Spent some time playing in South Africa as well. Towards the near post. The call is away. It hasn't been... Bielli towards the near post and a stretch from Nando Pineke. Diverting it behind. William Balikwisha. One of the new men. Belgian based. A deeper corner. Sanev didn't get any touch on that. New Zealand had scored for the best part of half a dozen matches. They Went ahead through an own goal, and then Matt Garbutt off the bench, scored a goal. Into Chris Wood! Flag up on the far side. It will not count for Chris Wood. It looked... It's tight. It's tight. Chris Wood thought he was onside. Garbutt has fouled. Takes it quickly. On to Chris Wood. Wood's in the area, goes down. That is a penalty. Jason Barcelo with no hesitation. They argue and they'll continue to protest, but it won't matter. Jason Barcelo will not be changing his mind. Chris Wood bundled over in the penalty area and New Zealand have a penalty. Here it is again. Certainly no contact on the ball there. As Chris Wood used his body effectively to take it away from Gideon Kalulu. It's Wood against Impasi. Goal number 34 for New Zealand for Christopher Wood, the captain of his country. And it has drawn New Zealand level and added time here in Spain. 1-1. Chris Wood. He's so often the man who's...